Welcome to Hobby. This is somewhere we have wanted to come forever. When we lived in Mumbai 10 years ago, we always said we were gonna come to Hampi. We never did. We're finally here. We got in yesterday, and I can already tell that this place is incredible and should be on way more people's lists. Uh, right now, we're walking to the Vitala Temple, and we're gonna take you along as we explore the sites for about a day. Anything to say, Pete? Yeah, my first impressions. <clears throat> Excuse me, clear my throat. My first impressions are that I can't get over how incredible the landscape is because you've got these like Dad, huge... Wave, wave! We made it to the temple. I think this thing right here is like the most famous thing here. This is gonna be a terrible video if you want history, but if you've been around a while, that's not why you're watching these. I hope you enjoy the sights and it inspires you to come here. <laughs> We're a little bit ignorant as to what everything is. We have chosen to not have a guide. We're gonna read about it between stops and as we're here. Um, so that's, that's on us. But this place I think is famous for this chariot thing. Did it roll on those wheels? Do you want to know Hayes' favorite part? Pile of bird poop over here on the floor. They pooped on the floor, not in the toilet. Is that funny? Yeah. He's also unimpressed by any of these architectural marvels and is just walking around looking for monkeys. Oh, Stephanie. I got something for you. Thank you, Thank you so much. What a special day. Have we lost our three-year-old? Yeah. Okay, I do actually have a fun fact. Pete, come here. So as incredible as all of these carvings are, did you know that a long time ago, these were all like painted in vivid colors? Wouldn't that have been cool? Yeah. Oh. Like Skittles. But like natural vegetable dye. My favorite thing to do is with this GoPro is to pretend that it's a drone and that shot right there in between the pillows could have thought it was filmed by a drone but it wasn't it was me running with the GoPro for any more cinematic photography tricks uh, I actually have my own YouTube channel uh, where it's um it's called how to pretend you have a drone with a GoPro Check it out. Subscribe. Since this site is um, really big. I don't know what the other ones, because this is our first one, but they offer these like electric shuttles for 10 rupees. Um, and it's, it's like 10.30 a.m. right now, and it's February, and it's hot. So I wouldn't want to be here when it's much hotter. And we, oh, this is our only full day to explore, um, but if you were spending more time here and could like only come out in the afternoon at like golden hour last night, we didn't film or do any sightseeing. Um, but it was absolutely sunny. We'll show you that time of day later if you stick around and continue watching this video. Um, but we are definitely going to go back to the Airbnb uh, in the middle of the day for Hayes' nap. Shade here. I got some ganja dip today. Hey, I got this stuff. When it's this hot outside, it's a good excuse to pull over every time you see coconut. Is that good? All right. So these they have a local variety of banana. How can I? Basha. 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 His name is. You just right. asked his name. The banana nam. Banana nam. This is Sugundi. 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 Not the name of our rickshaw track. Uh, that one? Sakri Bale. My Hindi, by the way, is phenomenal. 
<laughs> Just leave me alone with my banana and coconut, would you? Let's be back on the road. Who is it though? Goodness you. She can't talk, mommy. She just said that you. She does she that you, mommy. What's her name? Goodness you. Goodness you who? Are you gonna shoot? Gonna shut. Gonna shut. Hey, 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 just say no. Hey, 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 no, sir, put him down. You don't just pick up other people's uh, children. Ask you, no? Yeah. Are you okay? As Hayes mentioned, uh, this is Kata Kalu. I'm not sure, but it's a big statue of Lord Ganesha. It's one of the largest in southern India and is carved out of one of these giant boulders. And then we're just looking forward at Virupaksha Temple, which I think is one of the most iconic sites of Hampi. Uh, and we're not sure if we're supposed to walk there or go back to the rickshaw, but I mean, this is nuts. Never been anywhere like this before. I am now regretting that we only have one day here. <laughs> we should have spent longer. Although you can totally do it in one day. You could spend like a week here. The thing that's different uh, about Hampi compared to like Angkor Wat or something, which I for some reason keep thinking of, is that it's not like you drive up to one place and it's a big compound. Well, I guess Angkor Wat's not really like that either. But they're all just kind of like spread out all over town, which I don't know, is why it's so like impactful and incredible, but it means that it's best to kind of get a rickshaw driver for the day like we did. I will put ours information down below. His name's Basha, his brother Pasha picked us up from the train station yesterday. We found them through our Airbnb um, and they're wonderful. Sunlight, dearest sunlight. Mommy, I have presents for you. Close your eyes. Okay. Get the puppies. What? This is mommy and puppies. Puppies. It's a present for me? But you can't touch it. Oh. Because the dog might 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 wake up because they are because they are sleeping. Come on in. That was a Virupaksha temple. I don't think we said much. Beautiful. Again, another place that would have been incredible to do towards sunset, but we only have one sunset here. Uh, now we're at Mango Tree Restaurant, which our friend told us was like the place to be like 10 to 15 years ago, and it's still amazing. And I just want to say, I've only been in Hampi for like 36 hours, 18 hours, not long, and I no longer want to eat anywhere if it's not like on a mattress and pillow situation like everything here is. I should mention it's no longer called Mango Tree, it's called Humpy Garden Inn. Evidently, same spot. We got the South Indian Thali. I got paneer butter chicken. No, I didn't. Paneer masala. Tikka masala. What did I get? out. We haven't done a lot of uh, accommodation tours recently but this place is exceptional we wanted to share it. Also Airbnb has been really tough here in India we haven't had much luck it's hard to find like really good places. This is an absolute gem so come and have a look. Awesome nice spacious room in here. Um, I believe the owner is, uh, is a woodworker so he's got some of his own wood work in here which is incredible. 
and uh, it's just a really, really nice, relaxing, peaceful space. Um, also, great bathroom. Huge, love the area. Again, just love the little like window holes up there, just like small touches, makes it feel really nice. Um, we're in a village called uh, An Anagundi, Anagundi. <laughs> which is a small little place, but really pretty. We've been walking around, we actually had a meal here uh, first day. Um, but yeah, this area sadly was really hit by COVID, so it's been really hard to find accommodation here, but so glad we found this place. We'll put the link in the description, so check it out. It is a must stay if you're coming to Happy. Oh, they have AC as well, so a must. Finding like reasonably priced, but still charming accommodation in India can be a challenge. And I think at Hoppy, it felt like even more of a challenge. So this has been an amazing find. And the faces, I got more yuck. Turn around. What do you see? I mean, no, it's your job to see. It's my job to see. Okay. It's a collie. That's a collie. I don't know if it is, but it looks like it. Is it real? No. Very hazy. Looks like it is. All right, Hayes has been talking non-stop about Katakali since we went to that in uh, Kerala, which is so cool. Anyway, I was gonna say, Humpy was a particularly tough spot to find something that wasn't like super grungy backpacker accommodation. In this place, the thing I love about it is it like totally blends in with the village out here and you're like amongst kind of the local village and then inside it's just charming and wonderful and great cushions and textiles. Yada, 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 let's go. We have come to find some elephant stables. We're a little pressed for time because we're racing against the clock. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> With the sun, and we're trying to get into a coracle boat for sunset. The rough plan. You know what? Don't follow this video, like <laughs> exact or any of our videos for that matter. I probably would have shifted some things around, but everything's here incredible. Everything here is incredible. You can spend a week here. This is the elephants used to live in these. You can tell because they're really big arches. Because elephants are really big. I don't think we mentioned the elephant at the last temple. Um, did not look like a nice enclosure for an elephant. There was real elephant there. Hopefully. Do I have my stick and rock? I don't have your stick and rock. Aww. until you've eaten an ice cream in the back of a rickshaw. Can you show us how it's done? He also picked mango over chocolate. We're looking for a coracle boat. Coracles? Not a word I'm familiar with. They look like basket boats from Vietnam. We parked somewhere near like Humpy Bazaar and now we're just walking through incredible boulder formations. I'm hoping that somebody will give us a ride. We found them and Hayes is so excited. Yay! All right. Please. Get in the middle, please. Oh, yes, in the middle, Hayes. In the middle, Hayes. Get on the board. Come on, step. I think I just broke it. See then. I'm Peter, uh -huh. and this is Stephanie. Stephanie. I'm from USA. What's your name? His. Peter. His. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, hey. <laughs> What are we doing? Wow. What are we doing? <laughs> Mommy, can I want to take off my shoes. Right, so these are a lot different from the um, basket boats that we've uh, recently were in, in Hoi An. Um, so much lower in the water. And um, I don't know, they, they feel a little less... Um, secure in one way but I mean you're not gonna spin like you did in Vietnam no no if you want to see me spin in a basket boat we have a video on that go check it out Ooh, this isn't as bad as the basket boats oh, too much for you mommy I'm getting hungry <laughs> <laughs> oh god. Hold on folks, here we go. Oh, it's 
You know you've been traveling a long time when you've now been on two boat rides out of those like bath Vietnam they call them basket boats here they call them coracles whatever they are that was incredible and awesome and you shouldn't come to Hampi without doing this and this was the perfect time of day to do it look at the sky I mean it's so peaceful I don't know what I thought it was gonna be but I thought it was gonna be like a bunch of people trying to get on one and it's instead it's just this like riverbank that's unlike anything I've ever seen gorgeous and peaceful and calm minus haze in the boat and wonderful I don't have enough nice things to say about Humpy. these videos feel so awkward when all it we say is this is incredible that's incredible this is so beautiful come here uh, but that's what today has been like We uh, got to the train station before the sun was up, but our train is like an hour late, so we're just waiting to head to Goa, which means it's the end of our Hampi vlog. Final thoughts on Hampi is that it's amazing, and it's sort of incredible, incredible that it doesn't make every list that like the Taj Mahal and all these things that everybody goes to does, um, because it's really worth seeing. It's also not as hard to get here anymore. You can take a train from Bangalore or Hyderabad, and there's also a flight now. And I think you should come. We barely scratched the surface, as you saw, like barely. You could spend forever here. Um, but come, check it out, choose your own adventure, and have a nice time. Check out this amazing sunrise. It's beautiful. One gripe is that there's still nobody selling food. Our memory of Indian trains from when we traveled a lot ten years ago is that there was like so much food and chai and stuff everywhere and now I mean it's like 7 a.m. So like why is there nobody here to sell me in Italy? Let's see it go.